Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of August 30th. This week brings the full moon, it falls on the 1st or 2nd depending on your time zone. Now this full moon falls in the zodiac of Pisces, however if we were to look to the sky we would actually see the full moon sitting in the constellation of Aquarius. Yes, zodiacs and constellations are not the same thing. I don't want to go too much into this um, on the video but I have written about it in my article. I'll put a link below um, for the September full moon uh, article. I talk why and how that happens but essentially it falls in the zodiac of Pisces but if we were to look to the sky it would be sitting in the constellation of Aquarius. Now regardless of where it sits in the sky, this full moon is guiding us to get still. You know I do all my forecasts sort of intuitively and the message that I received around this full moon was let go of who you were yesterday and just be, just be with who you are in this moment. So the sort of key, that key channeling sentence that came through for me was let go of who you were yesterday. It's kind of interesting to think about it in that way. Maybe repeat that message to yourself a couple of times and see how it uh, makes you feel, what comes up. Let go of who you were yesterday. And to me, this is also kind of about accepting and being still with who we are and where we are in this present moment. Letting go of the thoughts. You know, think about it, right? I would say probably 90% of the thoughts that we have are not really necessary. So, you know, letting go of our thoughts, letting go of the stories that we tell ourselves, letting go of our identity or, you know, the pressures we put on ourselves, letting that all go and just being present with who you are in this very moment, the raw, unaltered, no filters, just the true authentic you. We can all tap into this energy, to this idea of just being present in who we are in this very moment under the energy of this September full moon. So while this full moon, the intuitive message around it is sort of letting go of who you were yesterday, so letting go of the past, releasing things that block you from accessing your true authentic self, while that energy is present there for us, it also holds uh, this energy that uh, might heighten our sensitivities. It might heighten, you know, things that we're feeling a little sensitive or emotional about. We might find that being heightened. So again, you know, I always think it's good to like sit with those emotions. So if something comes up that does feel heightened, it means that it wants to be looked at. It wants to be, um, you know, heard. And full moons have a way of drawing and pulling things out of us. So if something does come up, if something does rise to the surface, you know, it's there because it wants to be heard and observed and then released if that's what's necessary as a next step. So sit with that. If emotions do come up, know that the full moon is not just messing with you. It is bringing up stuff that is already inside you that needs to come up, that needs to come to your attention and then you can, you know, do what's best with whatever has come up and usually it is releasing it, letting go or shifting it or finding a way to move past it. And we also have this wonderful grounded energy um, at this time of year as well with the sun in the zodiac of Virgo. So, you know, using that grounded energy to feel rooted in our being. We also have Mars about to go retrograde next week as well. And this is also an energy that can knock us off you know, feeling grounded and rooted. So really using that throughout this week if you do feel a little emotional or scattered. How can I get grounded and rooted in earth, in my body, in my life, in the situation that I find myself in? So a powerful full moon that's setting us up for a powerful month ahead. September brings a lot of transformative energies but I kind of feel like I've been saying that every month um, and when I look to October, when I look to November, we still have 
even December as well, we have a lot of big cosmic energies still on the way. I feel like 2020 has always was always destined to be this beautiful um, or you know challenging as well, transformative year. And as we get to the end, as we get to these final months, it seems like, you know, we're really, those messages are really being hit home for us. So yes, big energies in September, but what's really interesting, and I wrote about this in my monthly forecast um, that I run on the website, but with every big alignment that we have coming up in September, there's also a protective one that goes along with it. It's actually really kind of interesting. So this happens next week, so I'll talk more about it next week. But just as an example, we have Mars retrograde next week. And I sort of ignored this fact because I'm like, oh, so focused on the Mars retrograde. This is a big, big event. But actually, the day Mars goes retrograde, we have this wonderful alignment with Jupiter. And it's forming a, what's known as a trine. So you've heard me talk about squares, two planets and 90 degrees, <clears throat> excuse me, away from each other. A trine is when we have like a triangle, they're 120 degrees away from each other. So the Sun and Jupiter will be in what's called a trine the day Mars goes retrograde. And Sun trine Jupiter is a sign of protection. It's a cosmic protection. It's a beautiful uh, way that the universe comes in and goes, don't worry, I've got your back here. You are being protected. And there's a couple of instances of this happening out uh, all through the month. So yes, September brings big energy, but it also brings this essence of protection. So tune into that. Know you are being guided. Know that your soul has signed up to be here at this time to work and move through these very transformative energies that we're seeing. And, you know, I... I am always hesitant to say this, but you know, the energy is going to intensify, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It's just more sort of transformation, more opportunity to grow, more opportunity to stretch ourselves. Because remember, we are here for a human experience, and that means we are here to experience things. Our soul, our you know, physical bodies wanted to experience stuff when we came here. So um, and that's another channeled message that I have received that we really signed up because we wanted to experience, well, you know, the human state. So keep that in mind too as we work through these big, bold energies that are on the way. Enjoy the energy of this full moon. It's a great time to release. It's a great time to, you know, get out all that stuff that you no longer want riding on your heart, riding on your shoulders. It's a wonderful time for releasing and for just allowing yourself to be present and still in your body and still in who you are. Because from that stillness, when we get still, we find clarity. And when we find clarity, we find a sense of peace. I am Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.